This video was brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, and the Department of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. All right, guys, this is uh, question three from Dr. Long's study guide. Why would phospholipase A2 be an effective component of the snake venom which causes cell lysis? All right, so for the exam, you need to know the phospholipase activities. So you need to know that phospho phospholipase A1 will catalyze or uh, attack at this bond, phospholipase. A1. Uh, phospholipase A2 will attack here or remove this fatty acid. Phospholipase C will go here and phospholipase D will go here. So they will cleave these bonds or these fatty acids. Uh, so why would phospholipase A2 be an effective component? Well, phospholipase A2 will remove this fatty acid and that will result in a and I'll, this lysed lipid, which is more stable in a micelle form. So you're going to see big clumps of the membrane. Uh, this is a phospholipid, so that's what makes up the, the, the lipid bilayer in a plasma membrane. Uh, you'll see these big chunks starting to come up as micelles, and that's what's going to cause breakdown of the cell membrane, which results in lysis.